Alright, so um, I'm doing this video to teach people how to do uh, this type of leopard appaloosa. I'm not sure what kind of leopard appaloosa this is, but it's definitely not your basic black and white appaloosa. This is going to be um, more advanced, I would say. this. I wouldn't try this for beginners, although I encourage people to always try new things. So, um, I'm just going to show you. You have to know the basic, how to put on pastel, how to paint markings, um, you know, know your paint consistencies, know how to get the color you want for pastels, how to use uh, pencils, like how to pencil in stuff, um, and so forth. If you hear any squeaking, my rat actually just gave birth. Or not just gave birth, but uh, four days ago she did. So that's just them nursing. If you want to see them. Oh, but she stopped nursing, but they're back there. Hey, mommy. So that's just them. They squeak when they nurse, so anyways. Okay, so um, first thing you'll need is a reference. This is mine. Um, the next thing you'll need is a model horse, obviously, Prime, uh, prepped and primed. This one isn't fully prepped, but you get the gist. Um, uh, what I do is I put a layer of matte finish over it right before I uh, put on the pastels, and that will just um, like help the pastel something to stick to, so if you don't usually do that, I recommend doing that. Um, brushes that you'll need for this, uh, you can, uh, I use a little brush like this, I've had this one forever, so I don't know where I got it from, probably like Walmart or something like that, but, um, it's a number two pencil, I don't know what brand it is, it just says China, so, um, but yeah, it's like a little, like, triangle thing, it's pretty signature, I've seen them out there. Um, another thing is a big fluffy brush. Um, this comes in really big, this is really handy, just make sure it is not uh, um, used for makeup or anything. This is actually a paintbrush, but um, I don't use it as a paintbrush, I use it just to dust off things, blend things. Um, you might need a bigger pastel brush. I have, where is it? I have this one that's really frayed and stuff, but um, since he is a stablemate, I haven't used this one for stablemates really, unless if I'm just doing a whole body type of deal. Um, obviously a set of pastels that are more earth tone. I got a huge set, um, but I only use these. As you can tell, all of those were not even used. Um, a place to put all your pastel dust, I just use a styrofoam bowl. Um, some paints I have. Um, espresso. This is just like cheap paint that you can get at Walmart or any craft store really. Um, oops. So, the uh, espresso, which is just like a, it's just basically an actual like brown color. It's just regular brown. Um, burnt sienna. This comes in handy. Uh, burnt umber is also a must. Uh, for your hooves, I use this, um, I actually use a whole variety of this type of color, but it's basically your just tan color. This flesh tone paint, I put this in, um, a bottle that I bought, and I put this, so it's, um, flesh tone from Americana, I think? I don't know. Um, and I just put a little bit of water in here just to make it, um, easy for me to use. And I also have my white paint, and of course my black. Um, I also use this golden matte medium. I also have the glossy medium in this. Um, let's see, is it right here? Yes. But this one is um, in this brand. But and this is the glossy um, glazing medium. I usually don't use this. Um, unless if I'm doing uh, painting hooves if I want them glossy because even if you put the matte finish over it, it will still leave a glossy sheen. So unless if you want your horse to be completely glossy by the you're done, I don't recommend this. Um, pretty sure they are the same uh, amount of money. I'm not sure I actually didn't buy it. 
so yeah um some pencils um i'm not sure how many i'm going to use but uh these are the ones that you would need um this is sienna brown pretty sure this is uh yeah dark umber or burnt umber uh white and black and these are prisma colors um i don't recommend using regular color pen regular colored pencils although they do work and of course your matte finish so I actually use this is it. Yes. I use this um, times two clear matte uh, bonds of plastic stuff. Uh, it covers in like times two. I actually do recommend the Kryolan better just because this one goes on so thick you don't really need it that thick. But that is a brand I got it for three sixty something at. Um, at uh, blah, blah, Home Depot. They have a lot of cheap stuff there. I also get their primer from there and I highly recommend their primer. I don't have any primer with me. I guess I do. Um, and this is what their primer looks like. Exact same thing except flat white primer. The um, I don't think the primer comes in any different colors but they do come in a variety of spray paints. I don't know if spray paint works as great. I've never done it. I've only used white and just build up my colors with pastels. But there you go, and of course, uh, water um, and so forth. I also recommend getting some flow improver stuff that you squirt in your water and it just helps your paints. I haven't gotten it before, but I'm, I've heard that it's amazing. So the reason why I'm really making this video is because I completely messed up on my first one. Um, I put on the, come on, the, uh, uh, the clear or the matte finish went on too thick on this side so I had to scrape it all off and I just decided that it would be less work and just start over and I can make this video so this is part one the next part we next part we will actually go into this and hopefully you guys enjoy thank you for watching and stay tuned